you are a natural born threat. If you are listening to this video, you are not listening by accident. There are no coincidences in the kingdom of God. This message was put right in your face to help you understand what all of this is, what all of this means. Everything that you have going on right now, everything that people try to do against you, it's, it's because you are a threat. You are nothing but a threat. You are a natural born threat threat you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness of this world you are a threat you are when you were formed in your mother's womb you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness this is why some of you in in a sense of speaking it's a blessing that you're here because the enemy tried to take you out and the enemy tried to take you out because what you are going to become he wanted to stop you from becoming what God said you would always become. But when God's hand is upon your life, there is nothing, absolutely nothing that anybody can do. There is nothing that Satan can do but harass you, but get on your nerves, distress you, cause you distractions, put things in your face so you can doubt God so you don't believe. That's because God created you while you were in your mother's womb to be a natural born threat just like you are a natural born leader just like you are a natural born visionary just like you are a natural born trailblazer you are a natural born threat god has chosen you to help pull down the kingdom of darkness he's gonna fight you tooth and nail everything that you try to do that is good i want you to understand the enemy is going to fight you he wants you to quit he wants you to give up because he knows the influence that you have and he knows the impact he knows the influence that you have on your life he knows how you're going to affect people in a positive light he knows it he knows you're going to draw people away from his kingdom you are a threat the enemy couldn't afford for one for you to be born but you are born you are here now that you're here he has to start ganging upon you through other people that you know that you love this is how the enemy works to destroy you he's gonna gang up on you with people that you like people that you love people that you're related to people that you are close knit close bonded to he will use those people to help destroy you isn't that something the enemy will always use people that are close to you to help destroy you because he knows how you're going to trust certain people that you're close knit, knitted and bonded to so he can know how to destroy you. You are nothing but a threat walking. You are. You are a threat. You are a threat. You know, even in ministry, some people see you as a threat, but you came to help. You weren't really a threat to certain ministries that God assigned you to build. But in the other side of that coin, you are a threat because you're going to call out things that don't please God. And when people see your boldness, when people see your courage to call out lies and to call out deception, to call it what it is, when people see that and when they know that about you, they hate that part of you. People hate the truth that you speak. People hate the integrity that you have. They hate the boundaries that you have set in place. You are nothing but a threat. You are a natural born leader. You're a natural born visionary. You're natural born trailblazers. And you are a natural born threat to this Babylonian system, to this Babylonian world that we live in right now. You came to upset it. You came to bring order. Where there is disorder, God called you to bring order. You're going to call order. I'm telling you, you are going to cause order where there is disorder. You are. God called you to do it. And you're going to do it. He's equipped you to do it. You have everything you need to fall through and do what you're assigned to do. You are a threat. You are a threat when you were growing up, when you were a little child. You were a threat. The enemy you knew you were a threat. Look at Jesus. The enemy knew he was a threat. When the word got out that a king of kings was born, 
Look at what the king did. Look at what Herod wanted to kill all the young boys, all of them. He came to kill the Lord, our Savior. And that's, that's how people are. You're too impactful for some people. You're too influential for some people. You're too anointed for some people. You're a threat. You're a threat to their darkness. When you're light, you're a threat to people who are not of light. You are a threat to people who are not of God. You are a threat because you expose their deceit. You expose the lie. You expose the manipulation. You expose that fake face. You expose that mask that people wear. You expose it. You are. You are a discerner of gifts. You are a discerner of the Holy Spirit. That's who you are. You are a threat. This is why people will like you today and don't like you tomorrow because you are a threat, family. You can see right through people because God gave you a discerning spirit. You can see, you know the treachery, you know the lies. When people open up their mouth talking, you know they're not telling the truth. You know people have a hidden agenda. You know these things, but you're so spiritually mature in your gifting and your calling. You don't move and don't speak unless God tell you to speak and always stay that way. You are nothing but a threat. You are a threat. This is your confirmation. If you have been trying to figure out what in the world is going on with you, what in the world is going on with people? Why do people start liking me and then they hate me all of a sudden? Because you are a threat and fake recognize real. Just like real people recognize real people, fake people, dark people. They recognize real people of light. They recognize people who have the gift of the Holy Spirit and they can't be in the same vicinity as you. They can't. You are a threat. You are a threat to people who are in darkness. They can't be dark in your company because light will cancel out darkness. And some people don't want to be around you no more, family, because you encourage change and they don't want change. This is why people don't want to hear you speak truth. Because whenever you hear truth, you are accountable. You and I are accountable to the truth that we hear. When you hear the truth and you are in a mess and you ain't ready to get out of that mess, you don't want to hear it. This is why people leave your life. They hate to hear you speak. They'll tell you, they'll, they'll say anything to shut you down. They'll say anything so you can be quiet and go on about your business because you are planning to see the truth in their belly and they're not ready to receive it. Because once you speak truth to people, that's a seed and they're not ready to change. You are a threat. You are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. You're going to be hated. If the world love you and I family, we don't belong to God. The world love is own. That's why they don't like you. You're not of this world. You're in it, but you're not of this world. You're in the world, but you're not of it. You didn't come from here. We're like foreigners. We're like strangers. We're passing through. That's it. You're a threat. You are a threat. You are blessed, but you are a threat. When you walk in a room, the atmosphere change. When you walk in a room, the atmosphere shift. People that are doing things that they have no business in, when you walk in a room, it change. You shut all that down, family. And they try their best to conceal it, but they can't. You can't conceal fake around people who truly have the Holy Spirit, who have a discerning spirit, you cannot do, you cannot hide fakeness. You can't. That chosen vessel may not speak it and say anything to you, but they know it. We know it. We know you're fake. We know you hate our guts and you're right, walking right beside us. But we're so confident in the God that we serve, we let you walk alongside of us until God say no more. You are a threat. You are a natural born threat. You are a natural born leader. You are a natural born trailblazer and you are natural born visionaries. Hashtag that. That's who you are. And you're supposed to be a threat to the kingdom of darkness. You were created in the likeness and the image of God to pull down this Babylonian system in this world. God called you to do it. He called you to destroy the works of the enemy. You are a threat. Be okay with it, family. Be okay with it. That's who you are. Thank y'all for tuning in today to the broadcast of You Are Enough. Jump over to my Instagram if you haven't done that already. And Nikki G. McCray. To those of you who are jumping over to my Instagram, I'm so happy. I'm so grateful for all of your support that you give me. 
keep watching our videos here on YouTube and watch those reels and those stories. Support our products over there on Instagram page and get your copy of the book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. That book is going to revolutionize your life. Get the book. Get, get, it, get it for somebody that you love that that's pretty much stuck in a place that they want to get out of and don't know how to go and get things done, get things moving, go get a copy of that book. To those of you who are purchasing those benevolence candles, there's a link that I have on my YouTube page. Go to the back of the page of my YouTube page and there's a link. Hit that link and purchase those candles. You can do the same thing on my Instagram page. Do the same thing over there as well. I love y'all. You are a threat. You were created to be a threat. You were created to be a natural born threat. Stand in your power. Stand in your strength. That's what you're called to do. You're called to make change happen. You are called to transform lives. You are called to help people evolve. You are called to destroy the works of darkness. You are called to pull down everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. You are called to do it. You are anointed to do it. And it's going to get done. Don't get swayed. Don't be swayed by nobody else's opinion. You stand on the word of God because when you and I stand on the word of God, God is going to back us up. It don't matter what people say. Stand on God's word because at the end of the day, everything is going to pass away except what? You got it. The word of God. Talk later. Bye-bye.